Hello everyone, my name is Crossrider, aka Phoenix Cross, and welcome to the courtroom where I discuss about topics that involve video games and so forth. The reason why I'm here is because I want to show you guys something. Those of you who already know or don't know, I posted a poll on Twitter to see which of the games I'm going to let's play on my channel. And Banjo Kazooie won that poll. Banjo Kazooie was one of my favorite N64 games back when I was a kid. I don't remember where I got that game from, but I do remember my parents buying it for me at a store somewhere. I don't even remember what the store was though. The moment that I saw that game, I told my parents to buy it for me because there was a picture of a bear on it. Yep, I was pretty young back then, and I was so excited the moment I saw video games in the store. I was like, hey mom, get this game, hey mom, get that game, ooh, what's that? Dad, get this game, dad, I want that game right there. Yep, those are the days, and I still miss them. Great memories. And that was when I was introduced to the Banjo Kazooie series, the moment I started playing that game. Here is the first episode of Banjo Kazooie, and those of you who love the nostalgia of this memorable game, you are welcome. Please remain seated while the episode is in motion. Alright, here it is. Banjo-Kazooie made in 1998 on the Nintendo 64. This game was my childhood back in the day, and I'm glad that I can play this game once again. Okay, so here we are in Banjo's house where there are three files for you to choose from. The first file is where Banjo will sleep on the bed. The second file is where Banjo is cooking food on the stove. And the third file is where Banjo is playing his Game Boy on the chair. So I'm going to use file 3 because I like this animation in the Banjo Kazooie. It's to see that Banjo is a gamer and he loves playing on his Game Boy. But anyway, let's go. Thank you. 
Alright, first off, this is Banjo, a honey bear who adopted a Breagle named Kazooie that was seeking shelter into Banjo's pack pack. The duo travels numerous adventures together, and now their new adventure begins where Gruntilda the Witch kidnaps Banjo's sister Tootie because she wants to be more beautiful than Tootie. Nonetheless, Gruntilda wants to steal Tootie's beauty. Well, yeah, she's a wicked witch who can do whatever the heck she wants with her magic spells. But anyway, let's speak to our good buddy Bottles, the mole, who will teach Banjo some basic moves before heading inside Gruntilda's lair. Spiral Mountain is where Bottles will teach you the basic moves in this game. If you want to learn them step by step by visiting Bottles' molehills, press the A button. If you play Banjo Kazooie before, or if you want to learn the moves yourselves, press the B button. Whichever button you pressed here is fine, and there's nothing wrong with either one of them. Before I move on, there's some interesting dialogue that you have to see while I talk to Bottles, and it's really funny. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's actually really funny. Every time I start a new game on Banch Kazooie, I always press the B button to learn all the moves automatically, then talk to Bottles again just to annoy him. Yeah, very satisfying and very funny. By the way, when you defeat enemies in this game, they drop honeycombs, and honeycombs refill your health. Also, the A button is your jump button, and you press and hold down the A button to jump higher. In this area where I am right now, press and hold ZL and then press the A button to perform a backflip jump. While Banjo is swimming in the water, press the B button to dive. While underwater, press the B button for Kazooie to stroke her wings. Or you can press and hold the A button for Banjo to kick his legs in order for him to swim slower. I really like the transition between underwater and above surface. The music in this game is really satisfying and nostalgic too. Alright, for this area, press and hold the ZL and then press the B button to perform a beak barge. If you press and hold down ZL and then press and hold down the B button, you'll traverse even further. Did you see what I did there? Yeah, I'm controlling the camera. Normally on the N64 controller, you have the C buttons to control the camera. Now with an Nintendo Switch, you have the C stick or the right analog stick to control the camera. So press up on the right analog stick to enter first person mode. And then you can look around with the control stick. To exit first person mode, you have to press up on the right analog stick again. If you want to zoom in and out with the camera, just press down on the right analog stick until you find a comfortable view that you wanted. Also, you can press left and right on the right analog stick to change the camera angle as well. By the way, you can punch with the B button. Not a useful move, but it's really nice to have, just to attack enemies. While Banjo is running, press the B button to roll, and if you want to keep your momentum, perform a roll with the B button and then jump afterwards with the A button. Here's another move. While Banjo is in the air, press the B button for Kazooie to perform a flying peck attack. And you can also move around while doing this in the air. You can climb trees as well. And yes, you need Bottles' help to climb a tree. I'm not kidding. Alright, for this area, press the A button to jump and then the A button again in the air to perform a flutter jump. While you're holding down the A button in the air, Kazooie will flap her wings slowly. While falling slowly, Kazooie will flap her wings four times, and after that fourth time, you're gonna drop, so be careful when doing this at high places. Alright, now that we've collected all six empty honeycomb pieces in Spiral Mountain, let's head to the top of the mountain and talk to Bottles. Oh, <laughs> 
Now that we're done with Spiral Mountain for now, let's proceed to Crantilda's Lair. That jigsaw piece that you saw, I'm going to show you how to use that one. But first, this pathway here is too steep for Banjo to run up there. If you want to get up there, you have to learn a certain move from bottles in a certain world, in which I'll be heading there right now. And that concludes the first episode of Banjo-Kazooie, and I hope you enjoyed it. So in the next episode, we're going to enter Mumbo's Mountain, the first world of Banjo-Kazooie. Alright then, I'll see you guys later. There will be more Banjo-Kazooie episodes coming up soon. Oh. Uh -huh.